Welcome, everybody. I want to say a, a very big and joyous welcome from myself, Mrs. Casper, Miss Angela, and on behalf of the entire parish community of St. Helen, we are so happy to see you. So congratulations. This is your big day, right? You made it. So good for you. <laughs> And, and we are so blessed with this beautiful day, right? This beautiful weather. So we are waiting on just one friend. And while we do that, if we were on our Zoom classes, what's the first thing? Let me think. I got this wrong in reconciliation. What's the first song that we're going to sing? Who remembers? I see some hands. Can you yell it out? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to sing the gathering. So we're going to practice a couple of times to try to sing as loud as you can. And we have live music this time, so we're really lucky. So, so here we go. You ready? Okay. So the words are going to be on the screen. We'll sing it through a few times. And then it's going to be all yours. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, four. We gather in our sacred space, for we know your sweet. Sing it one more time. Try to sing it a little louder. Ready? We got. big entrance and I, I have to share that I see Father Juan Gabriel and, and Monsignor Tom and they know all the lines and all the movements so I need you guys to show them up. I need you to sing a little louder, okay? okay. Alright, let's all stand and sing that song for real now. So those past two times were practiced. This is for real. Ready? We gather in our city In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today we come together as family and friends to celebrate this beautiful occasion of your first communion. For the first time ever, you will receive the body and blood of the Lord. And we together are very happy with you. So to prepare ourselves, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, 
You came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you for gathering us together to celebrate the sacred meal of your Son, Jesus Christ. May he come to us today, we pray, and bring the spirit of your love to dwell in our hearts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, this is what the Lord taught me, and I am now telling you. At supper, on the night before he died, Jesus took bread, and after he gave thanks, he broke the bread and said, This is my body, which I am giving for you. When you eat this bread, remember me. After supper, he took a cup of wine and said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. When you drink from this cup, remember me. For when you eat this bread and drink from this cup, you are proclaiming the death of the Lord until he comes again. The word of the Lord. and see the goodness 
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the people, I am the bread of life. Anyone who comes to me will never be hungry, and anyone who believes in me will never be thirsty. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread, which is my life, will live forever. This bread gives life to the world. Unless you eat this bread and drink from this cup, you do not have real life in you. For I am real food and real drink for you. Everyone who eats this bread and drinks from this cup lives in me and I live in each of them. Those who eat this bread and drink from this cup have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. This is going to be an amazing day for you. It's a beautiful day because you will receive for the first time ever Jesus in the Eucharist. And we are very happy for it, especially your parents. You know, when you were little children, almost, and you came to Mass with your pa parents, as they received the Eucharist and the, par the priest was giving the Eucharist to them, you as a little uh, kid wanted to grasp it, to take it. You wanted the Eucharist. But we have to say to you, not yet, because you need to be ready. You need to understand what the Eucharist is. Today we come to a day in which we say to each one of you, boys and girls, now you are ready. You know what the Eucharist is because you have been listening to your parents and your catechist all about the Eucharist. I have something here just to summarize all that we have been learning so far. And for this, I need a volunteer. Can somebody volunteer for this? Ta -da 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 -da. Oh, of course, you were the first one. Please come forward. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, come in. Of course, you are ready. Yeah. You are welcome. You can take the other side, please. And you are welcome to Father Juan's table. So you don't know what you signed up for. You will be, this is Father Juan's table. I'm a terrible cook. Monsignor can tell, I cannot do anything good, right? But I have prepared three things here, and I want you to try them. Are you ready to try them? Uh, yes. 
High enough? Okay, good, good. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay, okay? Ready? Yes. Okay. So let's try the first thing we have here. Let's see what we have. Go ahead. You can open it. What is it? Uh, what? Cardboard. This is cardboard. Would you eat cardboard? Mm, no. No. Okay. So I did have a good, good with this one. What about we try another one? Maybe you can eat the other one. Wait, wait, wait. Da, 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 da. Go. Open. No, go ahead. What is it? Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> Would you eat dirt? No. No. Okay. It didn't work either. So let's see the next one. What is it? Rubber bands. Rubber bands. Would you eat it? No. No. So, okay, you're not going to eat them. Thank you so much. What is your name again? Charlotte. Charlotte. Thank you so much, and congratulations on your first communion. You can sit down now. So, we were doing this because you have three things here that people never eat, we hope. Cardboard, dirt, and rubber bands. But you see, sometimes... Even though people don't eat it, they will refer to food with this. So when something is really hard, like a, a very cold pizza or a, or a piece of a steak that was cooked too much, people will say, like, it tastes like cardboard, right? People will say that sometimes. But people say what they don't mean. Nobody eats cardboard, but people will say that. And with something, some food is really bad and people will say like, oh, it tastes like dirt. People don't need dirt, but they say that because sometimes people don't mean what they say. And sometimes people will like have some food, like a friend of mine that, and even Monsignor said it the other day, <laughs> that some calamari tastes like rubber bands. <laughs> they don't mean it. Sometimes people say what they don't mean. But that is the difference between Father Swan's table and this very special table that we call Jesus' table. What we have here and offer here, we really mean it. The bread, once it is placed on this altar, and the priest said that a special prayer calling the Holy Spirit to come, it gets transformed, and it's not bread anymore. It looks like bread, but it's not bread. It's the body of Jesus. And, boys and girls, we mean it. It is truly the body of Jesus, the bread from heaven that is going to be given to you today on your first communion. And this is a beautiful, powerful, joyful experience. It is so special that we hope that what happens today, you will remember forever. See, all of us who were sitting there like you are now, waiting for our first communion, all of us were so excited that we can still remember what happened that day. And I have examples for you. So let me show you this image. Can you identify who those are? Very old pictures. One more than other, but... <laughs> of course, it is me in the bow tie and the other one. <laughs> it's Monsignor Stom on his first communion. Those were our first communion pictures. And I remember me as a, as a little boy receiving first communion when I was seven years old. I said I wanted to be a priest. I remember it so much. It created so much joy in my heart that it changed my life, it changed our lives. And not only us, other people have been transformed by it as well. There is another picture here I want to show you. This is a saint that I really love. She is a saint, she is a nun from France, and her name is Therese of Lisieux. Uh, Therese, we call her Little Flower, because she was so sweet and good, we call her Little Flower. Little flower, when she received the first communion, it, she was so happy and joyful 
that it transformed her life. She remembered it so much and wanted to remember it so much that she kept always the first communion dress. This is Little Flower's first communion dress, and she always kept it because it was a beautiful, joyful, joyful day for her. And that is why she became a, a, a saint. In the gospel, we hear that Jesus said, this is the body that will give you eternal life. It gives life to your soul. And so Teresa wanted to be a saint, of course, through the Eucharist, and we have this one. That is the last picture I want to share with you is one of my favorite saints. This, her, his name is Dominic. Oh, I can take this off, of course. Dominic Savior, Saint Dominic Savior. The day of his first communion, he went back home and wrote in the journal, the thing I want most, more than anything is to be a saint. And even though he died very young, he was the perfect example of a saint, a friend of Jesus. You see, so one of the days, the, his friends were fighting and they were going to throw stones at each other. But Dominic was so courageous that he said, no, God doesn't want you to fight. If you're going to throw stones, you have to throw the first stone to me. And because of what he did, the friends didn't fight anymore. He knew that to be a saint, he, want, he needed to be, give example to others and to help others. He always prayed. You see that little box over there? We call it the tabernacle, the golden one. The bread that we consecrate after the Mass and is not consumed by us in the community, we keep it there. That is why there is a, a lamp, the red lamp, always with a light there. That is where we keep the Eucharist. God is there. The body of Jesus, we keep it there. That is why we come to church, and the first thing we do is go there and say hi to God and pray because there is the real presence of God there. St. Dominic spent, spent hours and hours praying to God. Boys and girls, today is the day of your first communion. We hope with all our soul and heart that you will remember this day and that this day has such a powerful power in your life that you will be transformed and that you may be like Therese, like Dominic, also saints. Now we can say to you, you are ready. You can take, you can receive your first communion. Congratulations. Please stand up. As beloved children of the Father, Love let us now present all, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may God bless him with grace, wisdom, and strength in his ministry to the people of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us who are about to receive the body and blood of Jesus in our first Holy Communion, may we reach out to others and share this new life and bring peace to our homes, our schools, and our world, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our families, may they always want to receive the risen Lord and spread his love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who take care of the sick, may we try to be like them, showing love to those who need our care, we pray. For all our loved ones who have died, may they rest in Jesus' presence in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers and intentions we have in our hearts, we pray. Lord God, through your Son, you have given us the great gift of the Eucharist. Help us to become what we celebrate in our daily lives and to remember the needs of the world which you love. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. The splendor of the King, golden majesty that all the earth rejoices. 
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that the sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us a sign of unity and a bond of charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the last supper with his apostles, Establishing for ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect peace. Nourishing your faithful by the sacred ministry, you made them holy, so that the human race bounded by one world may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wonderful, wondrous sacrament, so that bath in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over from heavenly to heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. in the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all as we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, they are daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. God, you 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. But only say the word in my soul. Just instructions for the communion. All first communicants and parents will receive before other guests. When communicant and parents leave the pew to receive, all guests are to swift down to the end of the pew towards the banner side. Guests who would like to receive communion, please be alert to the directions of the hospitality ministry, ministers who will guide you to the center aisle. Guests not receiving communion are invited to remain seated.
Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for the gift of your Son as the bread of life. We pray that we may always find in him the source of strength and joy we hunger for. Through Christ our Lord. Congratulations, boys and girls. <laughs> that was so beautiful to watch. Every week, it, gets, it just is beautiful and joyous, so it was wonderful. I just want to take a quick minute on behalf of Monsignor Tom, Father Juan Gabriel, and myself. We'd like to thank Adrian Soltis and his wonderful music ministry. Our hospitality ministers, who we could not have logistically made that possible without. <laughs> Our talented media ministers. Our sacristans. <laughs> and of course, our blessed ministry volunteers um, who have been with us all year. So thank you very much. I'd like to give a very special thanks to our religious education assistant, my right arm people over here, Linda Casper, and, <laughs> and our echo apprentice, Angela DeChantis Whitman. So thank you all for sharing your time, gifts, and abilities with our communicants as they receive the gift of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist today for the first time. I also want to take a minute to thank the parents and grandparents and aunts. And I, there was a lot of different people who were on the screens this year who led us into your living rooms and you really helped us get this together for the kids. So thank you for all your efforts on that. I know this year was an effort. Um, and we're just so joyous. We just look forward to seeing you here. Whenever you want to come, we're here. And, and as you can see behind me, our, our religious education director who was there for my daughters Kathy Doolin, she reminded us that Jesus' arms are always out in the risen Lord. He's here to give you a hug, so he's always here for you. So um, lastly but not least, I would like to remind you guys to take your banners, because I know you're going to want to use them at home and have them out in celebration today. And just follow the advice uh, direction of the hospitality ministers and enjoy your day. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for everything. Have a great day. Lord be with you. Dear children, bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Lord our God, out of the speech of little children you have fashioned a hymn of praise. Look with kindness on these children on the occasion of the first Holy Communion, whom the faith of the church commends to your tender care. Your son, born of the Virgin Mary, gladly welcome little children. He took them in his arms, blessed them, and held them up as an example to for all. We pray that you, Father, will send your blessing on them so that they may grow in Christian maturity and by the power of the Holy Spirit may become Christ's witnesses to the world, spreading and defending the faith. May the Lord Jesus, who loved children, bless them and keep them in his love now and forever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you and all present here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. I baptize you in the name of the Father. I baptize you. In the name of the Son, I baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Go out and spread the blue. I send you out. I send you out on a mission of love. I send you out. Till the end